brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. The issue surfaced after several local fishermen called on regulatory agencies to step in, frustrated after finding an abundance of dead fish floating and washing ashore earlier this week. Port General Manager Joanne Brown is getting involved. She met with Department of Agriculture Director Matt Sablon to discuss ongoing issues related to current fishing practices at the marina. As we reported, fishermen pointed out a net that had been in the water for eight days. They say the net itself isn't the issue, but the length of time it was allowed to remain in the water. Like I said, I don't care if he drops the net anywhere, you know, but when you start seeing dead fish around and you're still having that net down the, on, on, on the water, then, you know, we need to start saying something. Today, the net appears to have been removed, though fishery biologist Brent Tibbetts explained that conservation officers had not observed the net to be in violation of the law. However, the port today states the law limits fishing practices for angling and cast net fishing, the latter commonly known as taladza, as the only two approved fishing methods permissible within the marina proper. Now, this isn't the first time issues have come up at the marina. In 2012, the port allowed for seasonal net fishing after a conflict between angler and net fishermen. In August of 2013, the Department of Agriculture concurred with the port's designation and approved net fishing practices within the outer basin of the marina. Brown says after looking into it further, nothing was ever done to put this into law. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.